This video is brought to you by, AE Juice, get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, glitch animated background, logo reveal, text animation, different smooth transitions, trailer titles and many more, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. It's also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal, create a new composition. Name it as logo animation. Make sure time duration is set to 5 seconds, remaining everything is same. Now add the background image file to the timeline, slightly scale it. Now add logo to the timeline. Scale the logo. Let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. Now for this logo, in effects and preset, search for CC radial fast blur. Add it to the logo composition. Now position the center as shown. Create keyframe for center. Now at near about 4 seconds and 10 frames, change center position as shown. You can see the preview. Now press U to view keyframes. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to logo. Set the color to black, this will be used as shadow, so set color accordingly. Now in effects and preset, search for CC composite. Add it to the logo composition. Uncheck the RGB only. Here you can increase the blur amount. Now let's again add a logo composition to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the logo composition. Set fill color as shown. Now add the first image to the timeline. Now press P to bring up position, at start, create keyframe for position. Now at near about 4 seconds and 10 frames, adjust the position value as shown. Slightly adjust the first keyframe also. Perfect. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Press T to bring up opacity, set opacity to near about 30%. Now add logo composition to the timeline. Now add fill to logo. Set color as shown. For image 1 composition, change track matte to alpha matte logo. For image 1, change mode to hard light. You can see the preview. Now again add a logo composition to the timeline. In effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add it to the logo composition. 
in Vegas, change segments to 1. In image contour, change channel to alpha, change blend mode to transparent, change color as shown. This will be our outline. Change width to 5. Change hardness to 1. Start opacity to 1. Change midpoint and opacity to 1. Now in effects and preset, search for CC light sweep. Add it to the logo composition. Now set the light sweep center as shown. Now at start. Create keyframe for direction. Set direction to 0 degree. Now at near about 4 seconds and 10 frames, change direction to minus 180 degrees. You can see the preview. Set width to 80. Change edge thickness to 2. Now from project panel, add the second image file to the timeline, press P to bring up position, now at start, create keyframe for position, now adjust the position as shown, now go at near about 4 seconds and 10 frames, change position value as shown, you can see the preview. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now for this image, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur, add it to media file, set blur radius to 10, select repeat edge pixels. For this image file, change mode to add. Now add logo composition to the timeline, in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add it to the logo composition, for Vegas, set segments to, 1. In image contour, set channel to alpha. Now set blend mode to, transparent. Set width to, 5. Set color for outline. Set hardness to, 1. Mid opacity to, 1. End opacity to, 1. Now for second image media file, change track mat to logo mat. Now add the third media file to the timeline. In effects and preset, search for Gaussian blur. Add it to the image media file. Set blur to 80. Now in effects and preset, search for level. Add it to the image composition. Now for level, set gamma to 0.29. Change mode to add. Now add the logo composition to the timeline. For image press P to bring up position. Now at start, create keyframe for position. Now at near about 4 seconds and 10 frames. Change position as shown. For image change track mat to alpha mat logo. Perfect. Now add logo composition to the timeline. Now select the pen tool. Create mask as shown. Now for mask one at 1 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for mask path. Now at near about 4 seconds and 10 frames. Adjust the mask path as shown. You can see the preview.
set mask feather value to near about 280. For logo composition, press T to bring up opacity. Now at near about 3 seconds and 10 frames, create keyframe for opacity. Now at 1 second set it to 0. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's change all the compositions and layers to 3D. Now create a new camera. Now create null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position, at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for position. Now at start, increase Z position value as shown. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now again create a null object. Change it to 3D. Parent null 1 to null 2. For null 2, press P to bring up position. Now at near about 2 seconds and 10 frames, create keyframe for position. Now at end, reduce the position value as shown. You can see the preview. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our clean logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.